Let's see. I'm looking. We got. Oh. Okay. Oh snap! We done unlocked a, a little bit more of aisle. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that we were supposed to be talking about Brittany Greener in the um, intro to the show. Um, uh, we... She's in Russia, in jail. Um, uh, she, yeah, she wanted to discuss that. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your initial thoughts, GSU? I mean, not that GSU. Uh, fanatic. Didn't you bring it up too? Or no? I I think he's he's deafened. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Well, nice. right now. I uh, see you all. We're just uh, waiting for everyone else. Uh, yeah, I think that the um, her, I think that her getting nine years is insane. Um, I, like I, people are gonna make this like weird argument about personal responsibility, but I just don't believe that this. Like, like she should have thought about that before she decided to talk shit about America. Russia has rules, <laughs> and she didn't follow them, so she gets what she gets. Sure, but we can still talk. We can still talk about the flaws of laws and like consequences for things. Like, oh, there are no flaws of laws. There's only flaws of people and their own choices. Right. So you know, she knew what the rules were before she went over there. She's been to Russia several times because you know that's where WNBA gets most of their booking is from Russia. So she knows the rules. Okay, so if I make my child aware that if they spill a cup of water, I'll punch them in the face, then that, then that's a if that's the that the outcome, if that's just the rules, then it's okay. Oh man, here we and go. Let's... If if you make the rule that you're gonna punch your kid in the face if they drop a glass of water, and what's gonna wind up happening? They're gonna stop dropping a glass of water because they don't want to get punched in the face. So Russia has a rule about. The smallest of drug, uh, smallest of drug crimes. They don't tolerate it at all. She knew that. She's been there before. So, so been you there know, for six years. Eventually, we're going to get her out of out of there, as as always. But you know, fuck her. She she wanted to talk crap about America and say that oh she she hates her she hates America's law laws and whatnot but you know, she she was most free here in america and free to say the type of crap that she would say if she said that type of crap about russia while she's in russia she'd already be six feet under the ground uh, i and the way I, putin's going she might she might not even be under the ground she might have just evaporated into a bloody mist i think that's kind of yo, insane. i jumped in I and think, we don't fuck her jesus uh, I don't have sympathy for for people who know the rules when they go when they go into stuff. Mm, I same mean, same is a strong ass statement though, bro. Jeez. I feel like no, punishments have to fit really. the crime. I feel I don't know. That just doesn't seem seem relevant it, it, to always say like, oh, was were they doing something that was illegal? Wait, the sure. punishment is, is wait, punishment so is other, crime. Kind of, wait, you think other the countries punish- can't have a different law than the U.S.? The sure, guidelines man. have to. I think, so you, yeah. you go to a place that has laws, and you break those laws because you're from America. You deserve some type of no. I think effect. I can still critique. I, I think I can still critique the consequences of that. I, I, I think that not not being from there doesn't remove my ability to critique. Oh, you can yeah, critique I it think, all day long. No, because yeah. I think there's also a principle of having uh, you know fairness. That I mean, as Americans, we have you know a uh, rule against cruel and unusual punishment because you know the punishment should fit the crime. And I think that you know just by having a small possession charge, nine years is a bit much. Like even it wasn't it was a like small American possession though. charge. She actually had she actually had a lot more than what she, than what the media said. And so the reason why the Russians decided to give her uh, nine and a half years is because of the amount that she had. They could have charged her with smuggling. No, it's political. It's because they they want to do an exchange. This has nothing to do no, with Brittany Griner. If they wanted to do, if they wanted to do the exchange, they would have took the criminal that we tried to exchange with him, but they didn't want it. Because I think they think she's worth more than whatever criminal we were trying to give, which I blame mm-hmm. Biden for. Because this wouldn't have happened under Trump. Trump would have Trump would have done something. Are you oh, of course it wouldn't have happened under Trump. But the, fact, the, fact the, ma- the fact of the matter is. Mm, this point Biden Biden doesn't Trump. have anything to offer Putin for for her. She's not worth much, and Putin's probably going to just play it out until he can get some sanction relief because he knows how weak Biden is on on sanctions. 
Probably. I mean, you know, when mm-hmm. Trump when Trump had ASAP Rocky in the Swedish jail, he was like locked up for some nonsense. Trump did everything. He he went he went hard for the pain for ASAP Rocky. He tweeted. He like bargained. He tweeted he like a, yeah. Well, he went so hard. Oh, well, the, the biggest he literally, thing. Trump literally the made things scene. worse for ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky well, said well, it himself. He, the biggest he thing that made Trump di- did that made, that, that made these dictators uh, be like, okay, I'm gonna give the people back to Trump is when he was having dinner with the Chinese president while and he sent 59 cruise missiles to Syria while while eating dinner. That's what told these other countries, hey, okay, he, he made he made a threat and he's going to follow. Why through would that it. make them feel what like when like Obama wasn't involved in Syria and then Biden after him wasn't involved in Syria um, and like, Obama what? started Syria. What are you talking about? Huh? Obama started the series. That's what I'm stuff. saying. Yeah. So but like, the fact is, is that what Trump, what Trump did when they started dropping the sarin gas on the citizens and they killed all of the kids, he was having dinner with the Chinese president over here talking about some type of trade deal, and at the same time, sent 59 cruise missiles over there to just blow up the hell out of their uh so, out of their airport. So yeah, but, but other presidents bombed to, uh, Syria too. Like, so what is the the other presidents so, didn't bomb Syria in response to something like that, which is a international war crime. So what that what that sends a message to? Oh my God! Send a message to Syria. Hold on, did Syria Russia. do that under the other presidents? Did that did that no, happen with any other presidents? So then how can you? Well, the other presidents have bombed them. Then how can you say that like well like this is something beneficial or something that's like particular to Trump's character in some sort of way when it's just the circumstances that only existed in his presidency? How can you dismiss other people for not doing the same thing if these other things didn't happen during his presidency, during their presidency, such that they could respond in that way? There yeah, were other I, things like that happened like, during their during the other people's presidency that they had an opportunity to do things on. Chemical weapons is a chemical weapons is a war. Well, they did. They they use they use uh, they they use sarin gas. But sorry, we can't hear both of you. But we can't both of you. So they, uh, they use sarin gas. Right. So under the Geneva Accords, it is considered a war crime uh, by the Geneva Accord standards. So any chemical warfare is considered to be a war crime. Yeah, but yeah, but from reports, we are still inconclusive. We don't actually know who who did that. We don't know if it was Assad's government or is it the rebels getting No, we do know. We do know. We absolutely have. do know. Uh, they have, they've done the reports. We know it was definitely Syria who, who dropped those weapons. Um, like it's absolutely the case. They've done special reports. The information is out there. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, they, uh, um, and, uh, it's conclusive. Like it was absolutely them, right? Like, uh, the rebels don't have the ability to, uh, uh, drop the bombs away. They, those are dropped. And they came, uh, from above, they weren't like uh, planted from below or anything like that. No, they they were came from planes, uh, dropped above. Hey, Prime. And, yep. Hey, Prime. Speaking of the data being out there, the data on the Russia crime laws also out there. Pretty, you can look those up too. You don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> so this is um, so we're not going to make this like an official topic, bro. Because I just don't I don't get why. You know what I'm saying? Think uh, well, I think, well, one, uh, uh, I haven't uh, had a chance to look into this. I'm not sure if everyone else is. So I'm, I want to wait really for the that others. not important a topic anyway. I, I wanted to, well, hold on. So I wanted to wait for other people to come in and they can decide if they want to make it a, a topic. I think the other one um, that we have lined up is a plenty good too. And I think there's a lot of disagreement there. Uh, <laughs> um, but The only reason I suggested the the Brittany Garner one as well is because it's real topical. So if people are searching on YouTube, they find this. Uh, That's the only yeah, reason. Why I yeah, I know. Uh, it's just that like it's got to be up. It's gonna be we'll put it up to everyone yeah, else if they sure. want to. Um, and then we, uh, if the worst case scenario, I could push the other topic uh, to uh, next week because I do want to talk about that because I'm yeah, guessing yeah, it's gonna be too. a big disagreement yeah, there. Wait. Yeah, yeah, Man, I, I can't believe it. Because I, I, I looked up. It seems like the the idea. I think the it was the one point. I'm not going to go into it. Was inconclusive at best. Okay. Yeah. About the degree. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so um, we're so just my audience. We are waiting for our. Um, uh, we are waiting for uh, some other people to uh, join in. All right. We're waiting for the rest of our our group. Hopefully they'll be here soon. Who are we missing? Um, okay, two people, I guess, who said they're probably late. 
And we might get just, uh, we might get started without them, um, in like a few minutes. But you were gonna say something, Bam? No, I, yeah, I, well, okay, now it depends on what we're talking about. Should I talk about something else until then? Um, yeah, uh, sure. I have an important announcement. Right? Okay. I was wrong. Just like, plenty of never times. fucking happened. Never happened. That was, uh, all black everything where, before we got into the topics, we talked about cereal. And I think I was pretty adamant on that panel that Fruity Pebbles is top five. And for like nostalgia reasons, I went and bought some Fruity Pebbles. Um, and I actually bought a box of Fruity Pebbles like three three weeks ago. But I bought a box and it was soggy as I was pouring the milk on it. I told you. So I want to take back everything that I said. I'm, That's I'm because they don't make wrong. it the same way, man. I tell I'm you. usually never wrong, but when I am wrong, I like to publicly admit it. It's not <laughs> top five, and, no. and I'm ashamed for like acting <laughs> as if it was top five. The, the, it, best, it, the best cereal that holds its shape and texture is Raisin Bran, Kellogg's oh. version only. This Wait, is the, man. the Raisin Bran oh. type of nigga. Like, Wait. is everything hey. wrong with you? <laughs> hey, I, you, you're the most polarizing new person I ran into. Hey, because Raisin sometimes you say stuff delicious. and I'm like, yo, this nigga is just based beyond belief. And then you throw a Raisin Bran. Like, what's happening? Uh, raisin Bran is delicious. I love raisins. I love oats. And Nobody loves raisins. But, but, but it's, uh, we got an 80-year-old here. Biggest, the biggest problem with uh, with it is is that you have to purchase Kellogg's version. If you purchase the, the, uh, the off-brands, it's like eating cardboard. Ah. Uh. I think, I think, um, wait, did I lose my net Bro. connection? Why is my, why no, is we can't hear you. On me? We, we can hear you and we can see you. The same, the same thing with those, uh, what is it? Those, those, wait, can wheat you not hear us? I can hear you. Know, what, what are, uh, my, my TFT no, game, not, uh, is it, is it wheat thin? So it's those cubes they came out wheat with that's basically just sh shredded wheat. Oh, shredded wheat. That, yeah, yeah. That, that, that frosted wheat cube, whatever crap it is, it's, it's horrible. Mini wheats? Um, no, not frosted yeah, wheat. Yeah, yeah, mini wheats. Yeah, Perfect. those things, yeah. things are horrible. They they turn into cardboard soup when you put milk on them. So Wait, just uh, eat frosted flakes. Oh no, no. So no, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. So oh, I, I get I get why you would say that though, because um, frosted mini wheats are a high skills um high skilled um skill cap cereal. Um, okay. Like, because you, it, you, you can't just eat that on its own. Like it has to be um you have to have the skill set, which is basically that. Um, you have to manipulate the cereal to make sure that the frosting is the specific part that touches your tongue and not everything else. And so if you're not doing that, then, yeah, it's going to come off as like a really bad cereal. So, so basically what you're saying is, is that you throw the cereal in the trash can and just eat sugar. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying I'm saying it's a skill cereal. It's a, it's definitely a high skill cereal. Whereas like, you know, most cereals, you know, you can be like a mediocre cereal eater and you're not going to have to worry about it. But that one is just the one that requires the skill to make sure the frosting. Is that one's the one that requires. I tell you, it, it requires the same skill that uh that joe on master chef requires it's just, just toss everything in the trash can just open up the lid and p open it and just pour it in there put the milk in there too if you want to stir it up but that's where it belongs listen so i'm you know, I ain't gonna lie y'all know i don't cook Publix whatsoever cereal that, Publix cereal that was half rice half corn on the side yo what? that we need to bring that shit back I've been in, I've been in the kitchen today trying trying to make my own stuff. I was uh, making homemade pasta, uh, tagliatelle and and linguine. Oh, and it's it's a lot more work than I gave it credit for. Of course, uh, but uh, What's that like, yo, fanatic. But it, but it saves me a hell of a lot of money. Uh, I don't have to buy pasta anymore. What's What's your point? Up? I was you just see, gonna say, as a person that doesn't cook, you know, I'm I'm a single man. Uh, uh, well, I, I was a single man, and I did I never cooked all these years. Um, I don't have ovaries, so I felt like cereal was like one of the things that I could survive with, right? Because it you know didn't require a whole lot, and um, but I, I refused to cook, right? And so there was a bunch of stuff that I just wasn't gonna be eating, right? Like for example, like regular Cheerios. If I have to like cook this food, then I'm not doing it, right? And so you're not eating regular Cheerios. You have to cook it. Like you have to add add ingredients and stuff and prepare it for consumption. That's not we're not doing that. Right, like that's too much work. I'm, I'm just trying to get my Cheerios is toss a little bit of sugar on it and put milk on it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not cooking that, right? Like, so that you're talking about cooking right now, adding cereal. I mean, adding sugar, and people be cutting in bananas and all sorts of nonsense. Like, I'm not cooking. Like, that's not. I'm, that's not what I do. So it makes all the sense in the world. Like, why I wouldn't be. You know, why cereal was so important to me. Mm -hmm. And I think 
cereal being so important is what's helped me to discover all of these like really secret top tier cereals. Um, and for example, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Apple Zings. You probably what have. That? But you've, yes, exactly. But you've heard of Apple Jacks. Apple Zings are the stereo, seri- um, the Malto Meal knockoff brand of Apple Jacks that comes in like you know the big old pillow, the big ass bag. Thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that thing, it's already like that. That one, that brand, for some reason, doesn't cut the roof of your mouth. So it's like it's actually so much better than the actual Apple Jacks, and it has a sweeter taste to it. So you can, right. um, you can find those knockoff brands, and then like actually like you, it helps you get around some of the bad matchups from the other cereal. Because like mm-hmm. if if a cereal is cutting the, the roof of your mouth, it's a bad matchup, right? Like you you don't want to be eating that. And I, I think so. Yeah. You just gotta. I hate gotta Apple Jacks anyway. Kind of so, I'll take the pain of honeycomb. I don't, like honeycombs either. Fun, See, fun, I, haven't, I don't know how I have a lot of experience with honeycombs. Honeycombs I, I, and, I, and pops, I hate those. I haven't had um a pops a pops. I when I was a very little kid, uh, I, I liked pops for a little bit of time. Then I got off of that train. Um, but yeah, uh, the I, I forgot that uh fanatic because now that <laughs> um our friend Gambit brought it up, I remember in this conversation that we had on cereal, and I forgot that fanatic <laughs> had the term. High school cereal, right? So it's amazing. That but that was that was this is the great conversation we had. This, um, but I would say that um, when it comes the Fruity Pebbles, would start this thing, right? It was never mm-hmm. a time when Fruity Pebbles was good. Never, never. right? The, never. the, the, uh, the best stop. you could do is maybe eat it when it's dry, but like the moment. The moment Marshall touches it, it's a soggy mess, and it's, it makes sense because it has no mass. It's like yeah. tiny. See, I, I never like fruity pebbles, um, but cocoa pebbles but, is always okay. I, I don't know. I I, uh, I'll have I to think ask the same thing to them. It also turns into mush. Like yeah, now, if you same. want a cereal that doesn't turn so much, it still turns into mush. It it still has a pretty short short time, right? Like you have to Marshall. eat it pretty quickly. Well, well rice krispie yeah. treats, but but I was talking about um, um, cocoa, I hate rice krispie treats. Has no flavor. Cocoa puffs. It will oh, turn yeah. into mush. Oh, yeah. mm. It will turn into mush if you take too long, yeah. but it, it's not as fast as rice. Like I don't know any of those crispy cereals. Yeah, the ones Cocoa that are shaped Puffs like that last that's a your... long time. It's... it's never went soggy. It never went bad. It was Wait, the greatest it? of all time. It was the best of both worlds. Which one? It was awesome. Which one? Crispix. What the hell? I put it in the chat. Wait, what the hell is that? I think that's yeah, I think that's the, the poverty that? cereal. <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's <laughs> Hey, hey, that's, that's probably one this? of those brands that went out of went out of business a long time. Yeah, this time is a regional brand. Like, it's like the me. Chex Mix version of cereal. I remember, I remember when I Chex had a version. Of they didn't really ship this cool. until we hit Amazon. Bro. I feel like I told y'all this before, but I used to like I used to let my Frosted Flakes marinate. Like I used I needed I I used to like wait why, for why would you idea. why would you purposely yeah, why? wait for the cereal to become unedible. That was that was the thing because I think it made I think it just made the milk better like it was more of a complete oh, taste. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, oh, what made the milk I, but I got older and I don't do that anymore. But I used yeah. to like. Man, the you know, next I gotta time you make a there. terrible point mid conversation, I'm gonna bring this up. Just FYI, okay. well, I'm, I'm I have no shame <laughs> in my roots. <laughs> no, I'm just be like that's how <laughs> I'm that we don't get cereal to get soggy. Like, <laughs> I, I, yo, y'all want to hear some disrespect for cereal? Okay. You know, there's niggas out there that literally warm up their cereal. They put it in a microwave. No, I'm not kidding. No. You. It's disrespectful as freak. I don't know what the hell is going on, but they do. Fanatic. It's the appeal. Fanatic. Fanatic. That's why some niggas that use water. It's like oatmeal. I mean, yeah, that's like, 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 like cereal and oatmeal are pretty so much like same Fanatic. What's up? Fanatic. <laughs> no <laughs> prime. No, 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 there's no way. I'm niggas. <laughs> I tell you, Gambit, wow. don't, 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 don't just say the word. Say the word. You do it, Prime. <laughs> no, fanatic, fanatic. I think we had this I'm conversation last time. I think we had this conversation, and that, like, no I way. have really um sensitive, sensitive teeth, teeth, like to temperature, right? Um, to cold, and so like I heat it up, uh, the like the, the, the milk and stuff. You um, microwave so your cereal? I microwave why my don't, cereal. Why don't you just? Why don't you just? Turn, <laughs> why don't you just? Turn, you know, like, I'm I don't even you, I agree. Why don't you just we turn done. the temperature <laughs> we of, this, of your uh, refrigerator down to like three instead of five, so you can have, you know, not super cold milk. Everything needs to be cold, and yeah, if your refrigerator ain't cold, you milk. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but you don't have to have the refrigerator so cold that it fr- that it's freezing everything. If you bring me back, I'll stay. <laughs> yeah. 
But I, you Bro, know, GSU, happened, GSU said something about Look. putting water on cereal. There was only one I, no, cereal that water. you could ever put water on, and that's only wait, if you were four. We continue, wait, wait, wait. We can't gloss over the fact that this nigga warms up cereal, bro. I feel like this, I I feel like this is deja vu. I feel like this was just the, the exact way the last this conversation. Exact conversation. I think y'all literally bro. left. Like, yeah, if they, they, did. Talk about this. they did. They did. I, I don't know why we came back. <laughs> if you warm up, this, if you warm up cereal, why not? Why not skip the process and just eat oatmeal instead? I mean, yeah, oatmeal, oatmeal some good. No, no. Just, no. Why? Why? Cream, no, it's not oatmeal. Cream. Right? It's cereal, right? And I only warm it up for like um. Uh, like uh, ten, uh, maybe uh, uh, like ten seconds. Yeah, like about ten seconds, right? Just to uh, get it a bit warm. Um, but like, I'm not trying to melt the thing and turn into like a slob. Okay, it's like still no, I'm not, fanatic. Um, I'm curious before, where. Okay, then try try this next time. Before you eat your cereal, take your milk out of the refrigerator and let it sit there for like a minute and a half and get the room temperature first. I mean, Why? His first bowl. Of cereal into milk? What is that? Y'all are violent. Yeah, who, said they, who said they did that? Oh, I didn't do that. Him to put his, well, his I milk thought it was just milk in the microwave. And then put the cereal in later. No, no one does that. That the, the people only do that to piss us off or to like like try to signal that they have mental illness so that they can try to get extra <laughs> extra, extra benefits. Well, now, fanatic, I'm actually the, like I guess squirrels in the conversation back to something you said. Where where's the threshold for cooking for you? When does something become cooking? Is microwave cooking? Um, no, microwave isn't cooking. You have to actually use a stove. That, I okay, would say you got to use a stove. So like for a unless, while, unless you're putting um, sugar in cereal, that's cooking though. Mm -hmm. So for a while, my, my um, when, when my girl first started um, some stuff. Uh, meal prepping for me, we didn't have access to, um, like our microwave was broken. And so while we we're waiting for the microwave to be prepared, then I had to cook every single day. Cause like you, cause we didn't have a, a working microwave. So you had to add a little water into something and put it in a stove and turn the thing on and all that stuff. It was terrible. It was terrifying to be honest with you. Um, every day I was in there cooking and I kept wondering like, what, like, because I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really familiar on pads. So for so some of you guys cooking here, so uh, who who in here cooks? I cook I almost cook. every day. Okay, Gambit, not every day. my Andre girlfriend cooks me. And Bam. Okay, so let me, what, what kind of pads do you guys use? <laughs> what, did you say pan? Did you pads. say pan? Oh, pads. He's, he's, calling the, pads. he's calling us vaginas. No, no, no. I, well, I'm just trying to figure out because when I started cooking, I was nervous. Like, I didn't know which kind of pads was going to actually have to, like, be, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't, I had never done it. So then I, I was worried because I don't know anything about it. I've never had to use them. And I kept being worried, like, is it going to start this month? Is it going to start this month? Because I did that for, like, two months. It was terrifying. Yeah, no, it's scary. I'm thankfully. I'm like, Thankfully, it never happened. I was okay. But, bro, it was, that was, that was some scary times. Oh my God. Despite, like, despite I, the fact that day, cooking was always a man's like, thing until until about two hundred years ago, but okay, I don't know. I thought fanatic said he was conservative to be different. Like you know, like oh yeah, you know I'm a conservative. Like okay, you conservative, like he's a little bit different. But this man is actually a, a deviant. <laughs> like, a deviant. A deviant. This man's. This man's. You in there cooking? This man's pretending you got ovaries. <laughs> and I'm okay. 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 This man, oh, this man's no, no, wife is not no, safe. No, like I'm talking about, no, as no, soon no, as no, they no, cross no, the threshold, it's gonna be shoes off, barefoot and pregnant. You know, what? I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta say, you're you reminded me of that of that guy from the show on what was it Monday? That guy who was talking all that weird stuff about the guilt system. You reminded uh. me of him. About no, oh, no, 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 don't you compare me to that nigga, bro. Uh, that, that dude was on some nonsense, though. The pro-slavery <laughs> guy? No, I don't think Fanatic yeah, no. is uh, the pro -slavery. No, 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 yeah, no, that's too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, GSU, you missed some uh, fireworks there. We had a guy who was, like, straight up no fucking around pro-slavery. Pro um, and, so and, and he said some shit like... The the Monday? He said, yeah, this yes. is Monday. He said, oh, like, the HIV... Was, was like, I'm going to stop streaming, I'm going to out because I'm afraid of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he said uh, HIV doesn't exist because he's looked into several microscopes and he's never seen the virus, so it doesn't yeah, I, exist. That's so insane. I mean, he did. Oh, he did no. check his. He did check himself. He did look at multiple uh, multiple <laughs> multiple microscopes. Yeah, not just yeah, one. He didn't stop at one. You know, he's like, wait a minute. You know, let, that let, is content. Let, let, let I wonder. I wonder, uh, I wonder where he managed to get an actual sample. 
of HIV. Did he just go around sticking a bunch of gay guys? Oh, no, he, 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 he didn't do any of that. He didn't do. He didn't do anything. He, I don't know if he's ever looked into a microscope in his life. Um, he was lying. He was lying for sure. He was lying for sure. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway the plus, like, like you, to you to see a mean? virus, you uh, generally need a uh, thing more powerful than like a high school fucking microscope. You know? Yeah. You, you, you also you don't necessarily know what you're looking at. Yeah, you usually need to use an electron microscope if you're going to find something as small as a virus. If you're looking yeah, for some, single cell things, do the use, swab a, and, use and a regular like, one. Someone brought up a good point. Someone should have asked him, uh, had he ever seen oxygen? Maybe yeah. he didn't believe in that either, right? <laughs> oh. I was dealing with um, nope. I was dealing with a, a real you know, question. That's a rabbit hole question. Oh, God. <laughs> really do. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. Yeah, then then he would actually start like like saying like yeah yeah I I haven't and I haven't seen oxygen and the Earth is flat and then yeah in a whole different right? universe like I said but that's crazy I, I I was dealing with a, a flat Earther today and he was like he was bringing up some math equation and the other thing he was saying was like he was like you believe that the Earth is round you believe that gravity pulled things down but he was describing how like why hasn't the water slid out. Of mm. just just slid out, yeah. and it, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" He was like, "It hadn't slid to the bottom." You believe in all this gravity pushing stuff down, but the, the water hadn't slid what? to the bottom. To the bottom. What does that mean? I gotta save my brain cells. I already know the water does go down. We'll hear all of Isles talk later on. Like I need my brain to work. Yeah, oh, and he and he thought that, and I'm kidding you not. This wasn't a troll. This was this. Uh, he he said that. Uh oh crap. Oh yeah, he said that the sky had a top. Like, yeah. like you, like if you, there was no, like space wasn't real. Yeah. 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 No, I, we That's had a flat much. earth debate much. here, um, last yeah. year and that what? shit was wild. Right. Like we have a like few of them come on and like they started saying, like that. they started inventing right. new physics right in, right on the spot. They started inventing, like, you got to see it. Like I, I forgot all the crazy shit that they said. Cause like, it, cause they were saying things that it took me a while to like understand what they were getting at, but I'm like, oh. You're inventing a whole new branch, like whole new substances that like like um fundamental universal properties that hold the world together. So this all makes fucking sense in their minds. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, like he was doing math. He was like, he was like, look out into the horizon. He was like, eight divided by three times two. Like, I don't know what you <laughs> eight divided by three times two. Look into the horizon. It doesn't add up, bro. Like, I was like, Jesus. What? I, was, That's I don't like even that know that what this South problem is in reference to. You remember, remember on South Park when that one nigga, he would just start like literally riffing on some nonsense and he'd be like, pin, pin nuts. Pin nuts starts with a P. Nuts are, nuts are a type of tool. Tools are, uh, and he's just going off of the whole nonsense. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I didn't that, watch that, South that, Park because I nonsense. love black people. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder like, how you people fall into those roles. To, to, uh, to well, actually argue to. against people who um, are flat earthers, to actually do that, you have, actually have to know a not, bunch of stuff. I'm not against um, them, but they're to fucking become stupid. A flat earther it's and then debunk them. It, it's almost. actually, they're saying batshit crazy things, but to actually like debunk every single one of the arguments, you have to know a lot of physics. Um, no, and... you don't have to know a lot of physics to debunk them. All you need to know is, is the bare basics. Because no, no, like, he's, they don't, they're you pulling, don't want their they're no. They're pulling physics out out of out out of the air. They're not. They're using yeah. things that it, don't even exist in, in, uh, in agreeable science. It's true that they so don't. you don't have to. You don't have to know everything about physics to defeat them. All no, you no, need to no. know is the yeah, basics. He's, he's talking about to debunk the things they're saying. You're not yeah. a good debater, so you don't understand these things. You do that. My God! Shots fired. <laughs> Let me turn Damn, the AC up. Like, what are you doing? Black Arrow Don't come for your soul like that, Pace. Don't take that from him. Respond. God. Um, I'm pretty sure. I would say it's all up, but it's not. You have. But. Get my I mean, God. Burn heel, man. What is happening, dog? Honestly, that, that wasn't even meant for you, Pace. That was meant for Smooth. Smooth is nah, 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 And I've seen him come on screen. He wasn't even saying that. Time. He just I came know. in and caught shots? Yeah, like it, it was meant that was meant for smooth. That bullet was meant for smooth. And like the, you said something and like the next thing that came out of my mouth was just a shot. And you just stepped in the way of that bullet. Uh, don't, don't play what you just smooth did, is actually a menace. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, mm, that nigga goes uh, violent. Uh, Man, uh, but yeah, somebody go clip that, dog. Somebody go clip that. Yeah. To, to, yeah, actually, to actually, to uh, actually debunk um, uh, flat earthers, like it actually does take a lot. Um, because the things they're talking about, sometimes like, um, like what you were talking about, uh, uh, Bam, right? You talked about like the whole thing about the horizon. 
right? Um, and like what they're talking about, like like oh, you shouldn't be able to see these boats, right? Like if it, if it's mm -hmm. the Earth is um, round, right? Then you shouldn't be able to see these boats at this distance, right? Because of like you know like uh, angles or yeah. some shit like that, right? The but there's like a specific here. reason why you can't, right? Like there's a specific uh, reason that's based in physics. I don't, I forget mm -hmm. what it is. And it's based in math, but like to understand that, to actually like take it apart piece by piece, other than just saying this is dumb, that you got you just got to know a lot. You got to know a lot. So yeah, I remember they were because there was a, the videos. I saw a single video on flat Earth, and I remember like the second I saw a piece of it, I was like, oh, I don't want to. I'm not going to even study this, right? Because it's one of those things that for me, um, I think I already have a brain that's like naturally attracted to like esoteric information, esoteric and I think like seeing that. Like, I, I remember, like, seeing just one thing and, like, feeling... Because I used to be into, like, the whole Illuminati nonsense, right? Where people would be talking about the Illuminati. So I did a whole bunch of studying on that and the music industry and blah, 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 blah. So, like, like seeing that and then, like, the conspiracies and all this stuff, like, it, it I, I realized, oh, this is that same place. The way I beat the Illuminati nonsense was just to stop looking at it. Just stop looking at the videos, stop paying attention, and just move on. And it, and, and it, it just disappeared, right? Um, and so then I thought, if I start entertaining this Flat Earth nonsense... I, I would hate to be one of those idiots that like doesn't have something to debunk. <laughs> that dedicates all about. your time to having to do all of that. So you're saying you <laughs> wouldn't necessarily hell. believe it, but you would like it would create questions that you don't want to yes! have. And I don't want to do that, you, right? You know, what you have to have faith in like though? all of society. If the Earth is flat, literally every factor of society has to go out the window, right? That mm -hmm. means the government is completely like messed up. Everything they've ever said about like why would not even be real? All scientists are. It's like at this point now, then my whole world collapses, and I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just not have to deal with my world collapsing. Yeah, oh, but then, see, then, then the, the same did. people bring oh, up wait, things like spring oh, theory. What are saying? Are you that researching that? Things don't exist. While you're researching that, you did find out that 9-11 definitely was. <laughs> what, inside oh, job? Right. Oh, no, I believe that, though. I believe that. You ain't going to give me a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, an, I, I'm into esoteric <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> from, from the time I was, like, 19. Like, uh, or no, no, I wasn't 19. Yeah. I was, like, uh, 17. Oh, that was like, an Infowars video happened. that sucked me in. Yeah, it's same. Info oh, wait, you said Infowars? Yeah, oh my god, I knew it's gross because oh, I oh, my cousin god. saw me watching it and she was like, You watching Alex Jones? And at the time I didn't know who that nigga was. It was like my, my brand new into it. Bro, it's hurtful, bro. I don't like man, that's awful. Don't pick that. Don't pick don't pick none of that. That's yeah. so gross. Yeah, I was into it. And it and the thing was, I still believe 9 11 was an inside job. You can never convince me otherwise. Um, but I, like there was a video and they were talking about the fact that, like, yo, once a ship goes so far, it gets out of the horizon, like you can't see it anymore. So now, like, that's how you know that the earth is round and then the person was like oh no you can debunk that right here and so they like showed the the, the the ship and they were like every time the ship gets out of whatever zoom in further and then you'll see it more and so they did it and then it got out of view and it was like okay now do, zoom in further and every time you zoomed in you kept seeing a ship and i was like oh this is scary stuff no nah, i'm not dealing with this no more i'm out of this i'm then i just stopped listening yeah. at that point i was like i'm not entertaining it the earth is round I don't care. You can call me just a person that's like shutting down and not actually engaging, and that's absolutely factual. I don't care. The Earth is round. That's it. I'm not. The only one. I, the only one I don't. The only uh, conspiracy theory I believe in is that there's not actually two Dakotas. Like it's that's just something that they put on maps for people to, to tell people. It's just one big Dakota. But like uh -oh. you wouldn't know if you don't go there, and you'll no one will ever go there to like uh, verify. No, I'll I'll ever go there check. I don't oh believe in God. the entire uh, like Northwest. Like Idaho, Montana, those aren't real places. Oh. Yeah, that's all just part of Dakota as well. <laughs> like, that's, that's not real. But you, you know, uh, I know, it's, I know, boys is not a state, but they have a college. I drove through Idaho, and it was crazy. I drove through Idaho during like um like the whole COVID thing. I was helping my boy uh, move um from Seattle and we had to drive through all these places. So we get into Idaho and we stop at a diner and the diner has a sign on it that says, Hey, we're like eating what I mean, like you, no mask required, blah, 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 blah. And like and it like said that the staff um were not gonna be wearing masks. There were police officers inside of this diner, um, and they weren't wearing masks and they were selling weed on the counter. It was crazy as freak to me. But um, so they were selling weed legally from this diner. And but also still anti-COVID. It made no sense to me, right? Um, 
And then, so then I like talked to so them afterwards. I was like, hey, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just in passing. I'm like, hey, so I'm noticing you guys aren't, um, you do, do the mask thing. And they're like, yeah. So our county, like we're like five miles from the neighboring county and our county doesn't like, doesn't do the mask thing, but the neighboring county, they do. And she was like, yeah, you know, and we don't want to like have the loss of business from forcing people to do something they don't want to do. So we just said we wouldn't do it. Plus like a lot of the employees have asthma. So then they don't want the, they, they don't want to wear a mask. And I'm like thinking in my head, like, nigga, if they got asthma, those are the niggas that got to wear the mask what you talking about but it just i just realized like how psycho it is that like because you think of like i always think whenever i think of like republican places i think of the south and you know you know south and 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 back east and all that and in reality no nigga there's places in the northwest that are still republican and believe in some of the same nonsense they're actually more republican if you look if you look at the um like the election the way the, the south is split like the south is the south is red but not that red in comparison to like like I said, like the Montana, what? like the because Iowa. Because niggas aren't moving to Montana. If, if, there's, 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 there's too many black people in the South for if the you South break, to be fully red. If you break down by county, if you look at the electoral map by county, the entire United States is red except for oh, the God. except for the East Coast Where and the, and the uh, and the West <sighs> Coast. So the uh everything from new right? everything from new york look look at the data the yeah, only place you will find is, is, is are you talking about a certain year oh no it, no it, generally any, generally, generally most it, most counties are, are red if but everything is the, red they're not people there for, we're talking about areas. in the states except for the pacific states northwest and, county. and the east and the east coast yeah, basically, and, yeah, the north, and the northeast coast all, all states and, uh, are, and, and uh, Illinois and Michigan. All states are red states until um they have a population center that's big enough it reaches a threshold um point um and then usually those uh, cities are blue right so it's just and a even within if you blue have a, a blue enough city uh, a city that's blue enough um to um overpower um the the red yeah the, uh, e- even, Cali- even California. California even California is mostly, is mostly red. And mm-hmm. New York is mostly red, but the city of New York and the city of uh, of Los Angeles have such a high population that the red around it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not just it's not just um like Los Angeles. It's also San Francisco. Like San yeah, Francisco, San Francisco Sacramento. Yeah. You go right around, right outside of San Francisco, and you go right outside of Los Angeles, and you get entirely red. I'm I'm yeah, still yeah, you like Orange County, right? Orange County, right? Orange County. And it's very, very red. Like it, it, it never has stopped being red. And like, and and I had to go northern in the north just a little bit to leave like L.A. County. And then those people are, but it gets incredibly rural, by the way. So it's not, it's you're not yeah. in a city. And when you get to rural areas, you're almost always going to have hyper Republicans. And so, then when you break it down further, uh, by the local level, the most blue state in the union is Massachusetts. Oh wow. I didn't so, uh, Massachusetts, Massachusetts has no red in it anywhere. It is completely. Uh, I'm, blue. Saying, I'm saying, regardless of that fact, they also got no blacks in it. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm saying we should get rid of the electoral college and those two cities should run the world, though. Oh, but okay. so. uh, well, we will, we'll have to deal with that some other and time. And it wasn't just him.